Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to design a Wilkinson power divider in key side ADS. So the initial designing will be based on the theoretical Wilkinson power divider. In the subsequent sessions, we will move towards the micro strip Wilkinson power divider. So in this video, I plan to do the things step by step. Uh, let let us start from the design of theoretical Wilkinson power divider in this particular video. We all know the structure. It is available on the theoretical books. So let me go to the ideal transmission lines at first. If you do not know, just bear with me for a moment and we will be having a simplistic Wilkinson power divider design for equal power division. So there is this transmission line. Let me have a reference for you all. So this Wilkinson power divider is a three port architecture where the power available at the input port is distributed to its two output ports. So this is the diagram of Wilkinson power divider as available on a book. And you can see the characteristic impedance of these transmission lines is root 2z0 and the electrical length is lambda by 4 and the port impedances are z0 so the structure is like this you have a transmission line connected at the input port if the characteristic impedance of this transmission line is z0 that is equal to the source impedance then this particular transmission line will have the impedance as root 2 of z0 so that is root 2 multiplied by this 50 if we are going to use 50 ohms as the transmission line characteristic impedance and same goes for this transmission line uh, so for that let me open the calculator so it is root 2 multiplied by 50 that is 70.71 again we are going to design this wilkinson power divider at 1 gigahertz so this particular transmission line have a length of 90 degree at 1 gigahertz okay. i am connecting these four. So the branching is happening here. Now there is an isolation register. For that, since I am using ideal transmission lines, I will use ideal register also with the value of isolation register. And this isolation register is twice of Z0, that is 100. And uh, so this is the design of Wilkinson power divider. Uh, the ports, let me connect the ports to be 50 ohm here again. So let me rearrange. So this is the design of Wilkinson power divider where the input impedance Input, uh, input port characteristic impedance is 50 ohm. The output ports have characteristic impedance of 50 ohms. And the transmission line has impedance of uh, root 2 of Z0. That Z0 is 50 ohm here. All port impedance are considered equal. And this is a design of equal power division with isolation ratio twice of Z0. That is twice of 50. So that is R is equal to 100 ohms. OK. Now, uh, let us connect the port. So again, we are going to use term. So port 1, port 2, port 3. So all the ports of 50 on right. Then ground connection. Okay, so now this is three port device. Uh, the characteristic impedance of this transmission line is uh, equal to the port impedance. So it is irrelevant of, uh, uh, so it will not depend on the length actually, whatever be the length. This particular 
port will be exactly matched. So this is for all the ports. So just consider these transmission lines as the extension to the ports. Uh, now again, we need to simulate it. So for that, your S parameter simulator, S parameter simulator here. And since our design frequency is one gigahertz, let us simulate it for 0.5 to 1.5 with uh, the step size 0 0.01 gigahertz. Apply and OK. So your controller is also ready. Your design is also ready. Then we can simulate it. The moment you simulate it, you will have the data display window. And here we go for rectangular plot. And uh, what are all the parameters we should uh, plot here for the S parameter? So I am interested in return loss at all the ports, S11, S22, S33. OK, adding this in DB. This is S11, S22, and S33. So this is S22 and S33. You can see blue color. This is only S11. Let us have another plot and see what is the value of S21 and S31. That is the power division between the two output ports. So whatever is being fed from port 1, we we'll, are interested to see what is the power outcome at port 2. So this is both S31 and S21. So these are overlapping with each other. Let us have a marker. So this marker says S22 minus 106. This marker is there for the S21 at 1 gigahertz. So you can see approximately half power division minus 3 dB power division is here. And a very good matching here for the ideal transmission line cases. So is there any other parameter? So there are, there are these two output ports. And if we want to see uh, the phase difference between the two output ports, because we are expecting the similar uh, power at the output, the similar signal. So these should be in phase. So let us learn how to plot phase response or the phase difference between the two output ports. So this is there. Let me have S21. So this particular expression can also be edited. If you go to this trace options, here you get the expression. OK, so I am not interested in the dB value of this S21. Rather, I want to plot the phase. So instead of this dB, I can write phase. Or you might be worried, how do I know this? Let me cancel it. Let me delete this. I could also do S21 add phase. OK, so this is there. Now I want to have this phase of S21. And I want to differentiate it from the phase difference phase available at third port, port number 3. So either I use this s21 and s31 and then subtract it or i can do it here only so just copy paste instead of s21 s31 now the phase of s21 is being subtracted from phase of s31 this will give me the phase difference at the two output ports port number two and port number three okay and you can see here it is all zero. So 3e to the power minus 14 minus 3e to the power minus 14. So this is very minimal value and it is zero for the whole range. So it seems that both the signals are in phase. OK, so that is what I wanted to draw your attention to that how you can also plot the phase response of the signal, the phase difference. Uh, of the two signals available at the output ports. Finally, the important parameter is uh, isolation between the two output ports that can be checked with S23.
so this will demonstrate the isolation between the output ports 2 and 3 which means any signal coming into port 2 will not be transmitted to port 3 and vice versa this response is also very good at the design frequency of 1 gigahertz so in summary if we see the results so all ports are matched considering the return loss uh, is very good at design frequency the power division can be checked through s21 and s31 and we can see that the power is distributed equally at the two output ports that is why it is minus 3 db so minus 3 db at uh, both ports which means equal power division at the two output ports then this phase difference is zero degree so this is almost zero if you see the scale and then this isolation up to minus 100 db so which so very good isolation this is the response of the designed wilkinson power divider on ideal transmission lines so this is the theoretical result uh, the the theoretical wilkinson power divider which assumes uh, all the lossless transmission lines with ideal behavior uh, in our next session we will transform these ideal transmission lines into micro strip transmission line in order to convert this particular design into a realizable micro strip wilkinson power divider architecture so if you are not familiar with the s parameter simulation and all i am uh, i am providing the link in the video description and you can see it highlighted on the top of this video also maybe so if you wanted to know more about s parameter simulation or other simulation parameters there is a complete playlist available for all of you uh, in in this channel and i am mentioning the link in the description also you all can go and refer those links thank you very much for your time